Hello and welcome to our daily wrap. Normally, on the eve of the Betfred World Snooker Championship, I've been Sheffield busy preparing for the championship, but we all know why it's not on this year. Hopefully, we might be on later this summer. But uh, I'd like to start by saying our thoughts are with everyone who's lost a loved one. We obviously hear the numbers every day, but uh, those numbers are people's mums, dads, sons, daughters, brothers, sisters, and obviously friends as well. So our thoughts are with you all. And it's a very, very difficult time. But uh, over the next 19 days here on Betfred, we're going to try and put a smile on your face in very, very difficult times and uh, look back at some great moments that the Crucible has produced over the years. And we're very proud to sponsor this fabulous tournament. We're going to start the first daily wrap by looking back at last year when Judd Trump was quite sensational. Today, Megan, God bless her, has given birth to a new baby prince. It looks like Snooker has got his new king. It doesn't just overpower the player, he can just overpower the table. It's what I've dreamt of since Judd first picked up a cue. Just can't take it in, really. Just makes all the hours and all the sacrifices when he was younger, just makes it all worthwhile. Started playing snooker all those years ago. Obviously, you ever think this would happen? Yeah. Jim Trump making snooker great again. I think just the standard in the final was just incredible, and to be a part of it's amazing. Yeah, Judd Trump was quite simply fantastic that tournament and superb in the final to beat John Higgins, 89 as well. Nine years on from losing against him in that final as well. Well done, Judd Trump, last year. But talking to John Higgins, we've done a very special interview with John. It's an exclusive and you'll be able to see it on our Facebook and YouTube page at seven o'clock tonight. Watch this. Oh, it's, it's been... It's been... It's been tough, obviously, but it's been it's been good in a way as well because my my kids are getting a lot about older teenagers and sometimes when you're away at tournaments and you're coming back and these are like passing ships in the night, they've got their beginning to give their own lives as well. But in a way, it's been good that we're we're playing all different games together, we're having dinner together, and we're out in the garden together. We're, the daughters try to show me some things on the trampoline. I've pulled a couple of muscles already, but it's. Uh, it's, it's been good spending time with the family. It's been, but it's also been tough also because you're not seeing your your mum and, and your in-laws and different things because because they're obviously self-isolating as well. And the only time you'll get to see them is on things like this, FaceTime, Zoom, and and when you go and drop off uh, the messages to them and different things. So the messages, which is a Scottish term of some some bread and milk and different things, if, if people don't know what that is, but. Uh, yeah, it's it's tough. It's tough, Matt. I'm sure we're all going through the same thing, but uh, the NHS, have, they've been unbelievable so far, haven't they? Incredible. Uh, what the NHS is doing in the United Kingdom is just phenomenal, John. They're the real heroes. When you look at it, Mark, I know people might look at sports stars and different things and put them up on different pedestals, I think. Every every walk everybody in any walk of life are looking at all these NHS workers and helpers and putting them up in the pedestal because they're they're, they're they are the real heroes out there just now. Everybody looks at them you now just in awe and just what they're doing and what they're putting themselves through and the risks they're putting to their families. But I wish we could only do the same. You still see pictures and online and different things of all these gatherings when the weather's decent and it's unbelievable how there's still people out there 
not 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 using the guidelines that the NHS and the government's telling you to do, just to stay in and stay safe, and that'll be helping the backlog of pa patients. It's it's incredible how how stupid some people can be at this testing thing. Because at the end of the day, the NHS staff are risking their lives. It's the least we can do, isn't it? Is stay in. Exactly. How hard can that be? Now, us to stay in and hopefully for knowing you're going to be safe. Whereas they've got to go out and, and do their 12, 14 hour shifts every day. And ah, I don't know. It's, it's heartbreaking. But in a way, yeah, they, they're, they're the real heroes without a shadow of a doubt. Yeah, watch our special 7 o'clock tonight on our Facebook and YouTube channels. A very, very good interview. Uh, with John Higgins. Right, talking about YouTube, starting tomorrow on Saturday, which of course would have been day one of the Betfred World Snooker Championship, World Snooker are doing Crucible Gold. And this Saturday at seven o'clock on their YouTube and Facebook, they are looking back at Ronnie O'Sullivan's maximum breaks. Of course, he had the fastest ever maximum break of a Crucible in 1997. It was just five minutes and 20 seconds. I couldn't even clear the colours in that time. Right, that's it for the daily wrap here from Betfred. I'll be back on day one. Well, what would have been day one of the Betfred World Snooker Championship? Stay safe, stay in. <laughs>